Well, good evening and welcome to Daily Decaf with Pastor Lisa. It's a time when we take a deep breath and grab a cup of decaf together and relax from the day's jitters and anxieties and find comfort in God's word together. Yesterday we began speaking about Jesus and the stories that uh, I chose that show some of the important things that Jesus teaches us. And it is no surprise, perhaps, that we couldn't get through all those stories in a single daily decaf. We could actually do a month's worth of daily decaf on all the favorite Jesus stories. But today we're just going to do one more. And as I said yesterday, and I'll repeat again today, for me as a Christian, it goes without saying that the most important thing that Jesus did was dying for our sins, opening for us the gates of eternal life, and making that great sacrifice, showing God and Jesus deep, deep love for humanity. However, I'm not going to share that story with you today because I also think it's vitally important for us to remember the way he lived, not just the way he died, because the way he lived shows us how we should live. So today I have a few more stories that for me are super important lessons that Jesus taught us about how to live and how to usher God's kingdom in, in our living. So the first Bible story I want to share with you is about prayer. One of the many important things Jesus taught us is how to pray. And he offered us the words that over the centuries have become what we call the Lord's Prayer. The scripture about this is found in Luke chapter 11, and it reads, He was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not bring us to the time of trial. Again, even this one scripture could be a whole series of sermons, but Jesus taught us to pray for God's kingdom to come close, for our daily needs to be met, for forgiveness to be an important Christian spiritual discipline and for God's protection in our walk on this earth. And all of those are vitally important pieces to keep with us as we pray. The second story I want to share with you today, the second thing I want to share about the important life lessons of Jesus comes from the book of Mark. And it is the story about Jesus reminding the disciples that whoever is not against us is for us. Sometimes, as Christians, we feel that unless people agree with us on every little point of everything, they are wrong and they are not one of us, and perhaps they are not even one of Jesus' flock. But Jesus himself was quick to dismiss this myth. The scripture reads, Teacher, said John, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus said, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me, for whoever is not against us is for us. This is a reminder for Christians that even people that are outside of our denomination, outside of our flock, outside of our whatever boundary you are tempted to draw, if they are speaking and acting reasonably in the name of Jesus, they are not against us and they are not against him. It is a reminder that Jesus' flock is bigger than any of the congregations or denominations that we value. And so we cannot be quick to judge others, even if they are different, if they are working in the name of Jesus Christ. Another, there are so many good parables of Jesus, it's hard to pick just one. 
but I chose the parable of the talents to share with you as an important life lesson. It's a very long scripture, so perhaps I will just summarize it for you. A man is going on a journey and gives three of his servants five, two, and one coin. And he says, I'll be back someday. Have at. And the first two servants with the five and the two talents, the two coins, they go and they multiply those resources that the master gave them. The third one with the single talent buries it in the ground and when the master returns, he is very pleased with the first two that made good with what he had given them and incredibly disappointed with the third who took his talent and buried it in the ground. This reminds us that God has given us all talents, all resources, and expects us to use them for God's behalf. Jesus wants us to know that we are to go and use whatever the Lord has given us for the good of the kingdom. Here again, we are at our time for tonight, and so I pray that these lessons and these stories will remind you how to live in the kingdom of God and bring it more into our world and that you will be blessed by their hearing. And I will talk to you again on Monday. Talk to you then. Bye.